We are looking for the drop of the rag, ladies and gentlemen. We are truck racing at Richmond, and they go three wide right from the get-go as Labonte, the pole sitter, takes them down. Rutman had a notion, couldn't go anywhere, and that took a big old wreck at turn two. We stacked him up, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five trucks looks like involved anyway. There's the coach, he's in it. Toby Butler got tangled up. And it looks like they're all moving. That kind of started about the middle of the pack. And from the middle on back, it was just a jam scene. Who else got tangled up in that? Looked like Chad Little maybe in his very first truck start. There's some damage to the 25 of Kenny Schrader. Jack Sprague. Him too. Let's see how it happened, Benny. Let's see where we... Oh, there we get some... Butch Miller Butch, tags Jack Sprague. And Butch just gets a little bit of damage. The 24 of Lagos is involved. And then we see Toby Butler in the 21 truck. And Coach Glanville in the 81 stops. And that 11 is Chad Little's also involved. And look at the sparks dragging off the 98 Rebestas truck. That is not good news for the man who sits fourth in the series standings. Oh, the right front is flat. Oh, man. Butch Miller going to try to limper back around. My dyslexia got me there. Kenny Schrader's 52. Jack yes. Sprague's 25. I got him turned around backwards. But um, this is uh, Kenny's first truck race since he lost a thumb at uh, one of the preceding events on the tour. He's back and racing here tonight. Qualified in yeah, so-so. But here is the big story. is Butch Miller, who didn't qualify well, told me just before he went out, and eh, 23rd, we can move up from there. I think maybe Marty Reed's got something for us on that. Well, I'll tell you what, this has got to be a big disappointment for Butch. They're going to go to work on the right side, and right in front of him comes uh, Jack Sprague as uh, he, they're going to have to take the left rear on his truck. So, obviously, some damage, and these guys are going to try and get this done. And already the field has moved through turn number two, and Butch Miller's ready to move back out. Well, no time getting out, stay on the lead lap. Big disappointment when you're fourth in the points. You definitely don't want to be sitting on pit road with a beat-up truck before you get to turn two of the race. And uh, Sprague, perhaps a little less costly in terms of the season. He's just out here trying to win the race tonight, but nobody likes to get beat up on the first lap. And Sprague would like to drive something. I mean, they have not determined who will drive the 25 truck next year. I don't know that Budweiser will be the sponsor, but, you know, Sprague is not solid. He needs to go out and have a good run tonight, so... A lot of guys in that situation with five races left after tonight and this series slated to go perhaps 24 dates next year. Probably all, I think inevitably, all on TV. There are going to be some great rides out there that are going to be based on where you end up in the points and where you end up in the last five races of the year. Miller's back in. Back in and look under the car to see what's dragging. I guess Butch has told him that there's something rubbing someplace. He said, no, everything is fine. We see the damage to the nose of the truck, but I think that's superficial. I'm not sure that's going to hurt anything. They talk about uh, a lot less downforce on the trucks than on the race cars. How big an issue is that going to be here on this three-quarter mile layout? Are they, uh, they going to feel loose and squirrely? Well, I think so. The guys talked about those trucks really pushing a lot of air with the nose of the car. As compared to the Winston Cup car, sir. Back underway, a four-lap caution. The restart on five with Terry Labonte, the pole sitter, jumping out front. Rutman settling into that third position. Stretch. First time at full race speed. Wow, there goes Skinner on the bad Jeff Bodine. Comes the x type truck, takes the lead from Lavani. How about Skinner? What was he saying in that interview? Just going to sit back, take yeah. her easy? Oh, yeah. Past yeah. three trucks on first lap. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll take it easy. You bet. That's Johnny Benson, on the 18, right behind Skinner. Boy, that kid's a good young race driver. Yeah, but he's about to be challenged for today. Up the inside. Love the way they can run side by side here. This is the precision gear onboard camera. Let's look it out the front of Benson at the back of Hornaday. He's running fifth at the moment. What about speed on this racetrack? Man, they qualified just short of a buck twenty. What's that? Uh, what's that translate into for straightaways? We're probably looking at 135, 140 miles an hour, about right. There. Jeff going out, backs off the gas, applies the brakes, takes the car right to the bottom of the racetrack. Chad Little told me he couldn't figure out this braking thing. They, were, uh, they got big brakes apparently on his truck. And he said he just couldn't figure it out. How much brake do you use going to the corner here? Quite a bit. Especially going in turn three because it's such a sharp corner as compared to one. 
So if you watch these trucks go down in turn one, we'll see that that corner is very gradual. The D-shape goes in that corner, and it's not too bad. But in three, the corner's a lot sharper. Right along with Joe Rutman looking out the back. And looking at Skinner, who's come from seventh starting spot to run fourth. Further back in the field. Morning game, the 83. That's uh, Todd Bodine on the outside in Jack Roush's truck. And there goes the green combs. Rodney Combs in the green 43, the snapper truck. You mentioned Schrader, too, so people know that he really is in the race. Yeah, I wasn't a complete shot today. At 32 is Derek Coke. You probably recognize that paint job. First time in a truck for Coke. We have six Winston Cup guys in the show here, and seven drivers making their first truck start. And I think as much as any other statistic, that probably speaks well for what you talked about at the top of the show, all the interest and enthusiasm for this series. A tremendous amount of enthusiasm. There's the other Rodney Combs in the blue truck right in front of Schrader. And there we see Morning Gay and Cope. That's Morning Gay, the black number 83. And Cope in the main and tail 32. And there's Hermie Sadler, the double zero. Brand new truck this race, first time out. I love to listen to that kid talk. <laughs> Good thing he doesn't uh, talk to Rodney. Oh, we got a spin coming up turn four. Looks like the 22. That's Todd Massey making his yep. first appearance here. And Richmond jumped out and bit him. Coming off of four, he got her up against the inside retaining wall for the second caution of the race on lap 12. No change up front. Bodine has shown the way since he jumped in front of Labonte. We'll take a break and come back with more. Look at the people. 